Well, hi guys. I just wanted to really bring to your attention some of the basic things that I think people are overlooking when they are training horses. Number one, um, I'm working with this little chestnut mare here that you can see behind me. And uh, the first thing that we noticed was that she was not moving really well. And she had a real problem in her back. So we've injected the sacroiliac joint and the muscles on both sides and she's had a long rest getting over that and she's now moving really really well again so please guys always pay attention to the um, the medical side and make sure that you're not working against yourself working with a horse that has a medical problem the next thing that you've really got to pay attention to and you will notice when i ride this mare that she's very tongue fussy okay and that she wants to get her tongue over the bit all the time so you've got to have the right bit to be, enable the horse to actually work when you're training it in a comfortable situation for itself what i'm using on her okay is this don mccarty tongue relief gag okay you can see as i bring it up to you you can see that it's got a good port on it and that gives a lot of relief to the tongue the other thing that you will notice is that we have got the bridle the rein on the snaffle attachment not on the actual gag attachment at the bottom here okay i don't want any pulley action because if you have got pulley action on any horse you're training you can never ever reward it instantaneously now I've talked a lot in a lot of my videos about how do you reward a horse well you've got to be so aware of the timing of what you do and you've also got to be paying attention to what the horse is saying to you all the time so what I'm going to be doing in this video here first off is to make sure that the horse is just paying attention to me that it's with me in the lesson secondly I want it to be patient and able to stand and wait for me so that patience is the first thing that I'm going to be working at then I'm going to be working at suppling the horse so that it can do what I've taught it to do standing on the ground in other words when I touch the rein that it flexes without moving if it's going to move I'm going to allow it just to go round and round and round until it stops and stands and will stand there with a loose rein and then I will give it respite but you've got to understand that when you touch that rein what is the horse doing is it reacting to you is it giving immediately because so many people are rewarding horses for the wrong um, action okay for the wrong response rather because if I've got a horse that um, I touch the reins in a backup for example and it's going to stick its nose in the air and I let go I'm teaching it to stick its nose in the air because that's how it gets um, respite because the respite it gets from the um, pressure of the reins is when I let go the pressure okay so I've got to teach it to react in the way I want it to react now when we start there when we start starting to back up I'm just gonna hold it wants to come back with our let go you see that if it just does that with its head I'm gonna let go I'm not pulling hard now. I'm just going to touch and hold. And let the horse figure out that if it comes backwards, I'll stop pulling. So here I'm holding. It wants to come backwards, I let go. Half a step, I let go. This. It's moving backwards, let go. This. This. Now you're starting to go down. Come. Come. No, that's not feeling, that's going up. Come on. See, it's fighting me, so I'm going to keep holding. I'm not going to let go while it's fighting. Okay, it's been, now, it goes backwards, I let go. You see that? So it's touch here. Now, look, there, I reward it for coming backwards. There, I let go. Alright, so that's the most important thing for me, is if and, and you've got to be paying attention all the time. If I'm doing 
I'm wanting to slow the horse down and I'm using that one rein technique and I just touch the rein and the horse slows down, I've got to immediately let go the reins. Because if I don't let go those reins immediately, I've taught the horse nothing. It's the timing of when you stop stimulating the horse that teaches it. So the stimulation is there when it responds in an appropriate way. You've got to stop stimulating it immediately. And that's why I don't want the pulley action. I don't want any draw lines. Um, I don't know what you all would call them. Running reins, draw reins um, on the horse because it's a slow release. It's not an instantaneous relief. Where if I've got a direct rein, when I touch, there's pressure. When I let go, the pressure's gone. It's the same with a gag. There's a pulley action. With a pelham, there is a, a lever action. It's all slow release. You don't teach your horses that way. You can go to an appropriate bit to get the horse working in a competitive situation later. But right now, make sure it's comfortable and that it's comfortable in the mouth, medically, and that you are using the simplest things to teach it. You don't need to be pulling its head down. And I will show you the exercises. Um, this horse is, is also, we need to build her top line, which we will do. Um, you will see she's inclined to be very head high, and that's because she's quite sensitive to the bit. So I need to work her and get her head down and really get her to come off my legs. But this lesson that I'm going to be starting with is how to actually get it to be present with me in the lesson, to also be very nice and supple, give to light touches, and also the patience to stand. So let's go get on the horse and have a look.